Uh, hey, Alyssa. Hey, Sam. Are you uh, ready? Would you consider yourself ready? I would consider myself ready. Stuck at the office or traffic jam. Time to take it easy with Alyssa and Sam. Is that show you know? A pro. So today, um, I was watching uh, Katie Lusterlux. Um, she's a uh, content creator in like the beauty space as well, and she kind of started like podcast type content on her uh, YouTube. And she did um, uh, an episode that was inspired by a post from Jen Atkins um, that's basically just more or less like New Year's resolutions, but mm-hmm. like we're not putting that label on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's just what she she said in her thing. She was like, I don't like resolutions. And I actually don't like resolutions either. I just like to set goals throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, I want to start. I want to learn. I want to try. I want to continue to. I want to quit. I want to be. I want to have. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and I want to quit kind of seem. One's just like a little more heavy handed than the other. Yeah, I feel like quit is like an action and stop is like um, a mental thing. In like the way that I see it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, let's let's do this. Okay. What do you want to start doing in 2020? Start um, of a new decade. Wow. Oh my goodness. This went so, so I'm stressed now. What do I want to start? <laughs> this went doing? sideways so fast. Well, because like I want to start like learning a lot of stuff, but the second one is learn. So I'm like, oh gosh. I want to start waking up earlier. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm like a yeah. big like sleeper inner and not because I'm like wasting my day by like sleeping 12 hours but I don't go to bed until like 1 or 2 a.m. What you do? <laughs> what you up to? <laughs> I'm literally playing crib. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah I'd like to start waking up earlier especially because I feel like I get so much done like even yesterday I woke up at 8 and the day felt like a million years long. Yeah. I got so much shit done like I was at Costco by 9 30. Wow. People were eating hot dogs <laughs> at 9 30. I don't know. I'm not like a judgmental person usually, but I was kind of like, it's not my my first. Is that a little early for a hot dog? A little early for a little meat tube there. But I I think it's not even like the hot dog. It's like the mustard. Like the idea of like having mustard that early in the morning is like, that's a little tangy. Yeah. Well, because I said this to you yesterday and you were like, well, people eat sausages for breakfast. And I was like, okay, number one, you've ruined sausages for me now. I don't know what to say. (laughs) Well, you called them meat tubes. And I was like, but sausages are meat tubes. (laughs) But yeah, like something about the bun and like yeah, the ketchup and the mustard and like it's the condiments. That's more a than lot. Anything. I was relish. Like, can you imagine relish first thing in the morning? That's or like fuck, sauerkraut. Oh. Actually, I'm pretty sure the Danish eat. Well, it might be red cabbage, but anyway, with breakfast. Um, but anyway, I'd like to start waking up earlier. <laughs> I think that's a good. I'm gonna freaking steal that from you. I but think. you already wake up earlier. I feel. but I haven't been lately. Mm. I've been sleeping in a lot lately, and I've been like enjoying it. But at the same time, even today. I wanted to be more productive and then I got up I got out of bed at like 10 mm. and it was just like ugh. now it's like I have to get ready and then we're gonna record and by the time we're recording it's like lunchtime so now mm-hmm. it's like all fucked up mm-hmm. yeah waking up early is like it's where it's at yeah you were waking up at like 6 a.m for a while there and by the time that I got up you would like finish your work day and you were like do you want to go hang out what a <laughs> blessing that was it's like yeah. and, and honestly I think if I start waking up early because my other I want to start is um going to the gym more and not even because I like going to the gym but just because like I want to be doing literally anything that's active so I'm not really setting like a particular goal in mind of like I want abs because Mm -hmm. I get upset Mm -hmm. (laughs) when I don't have abs immediately basically (laughs) um and so I want to basically just be going to the gym in any capacity or doing something physical so if I get up early I know that I'll go do it in the morning right but if I sleep in even till nine it's like that's not fucking happening that's crazy because like as you know I like going to the gym at like 5 6 p.m not never gonna happen like I just I don't work as hard I don't want to go I'm even like more pissy about it like when I go in the morning I'm just like okay I'm getting it out of the way Mm. and it's done and now I can just like carry on Mm -hmm. and I forget about it before like the day is over that's I love the gym like we're so different in that way like when I get to go to the gym I'm like that noise (laughs) oh god I hate it I hate it It's just, like, I think the thing is for me, like, first of all, I just prefer, like, low-impact situations. Like, I like hot yoga for that reason Mm -hmm. because, like, it's slow and gentle and, like, it doesn't, like, fucking kill my body. Like, 
I'm not like a huge fan of um, being in pain. <laughs> like, oh. I don't want to like, like when people are like, yeah, I love the burn at the gym. I like the burn after because like I know that it, I was like doing something there. Mm-hmm. But during I'm like, no, I don't want this. Oh, I love, well, I don't like when my lungs are like hurting because I have asthma. That's but fair. I love running and like being like, <laughs> I'm running like so fast. <laughs> no, I want to be dewy through makeup, not sweat. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the truth. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so my starts are, yeah, waking up early as well, stealing that, and then um, doing gym. Doing the gym. Yeah. I want to do some gym. I'm not getting fit. Yeah. Let's not go fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm going to gym. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, what do you want to learn this year? Ugh. Everybody's going to be like, me, said that already. Oh, it's Spanish. <laughs> okay. I need you to, like, pull the trigger on this. <laughs> well, because I was learning ASL again, and I actually really love it. Like, I'm... I just love speaking sign language, but there's not actually anything else on the internet that I can learn. That's a lie. I'm sure that there's a lot of ASL classes, but <laughs> I've exhausted every <laughs> single ASL resource online. But the one that I was taking, it, I finished the beginner's course and then there was no level two. And mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? But somebody suggested, and this is good for me, um, actually taking like a real course, like in person, mm-hmm. especially with ASL, because like speaking with somebody else yeah you know what I mean it's like yeah it's kind of good so I think I'm gonna try that um but I do believe that I can learn two languages at once because I already have the basics for sign language because I took it in high school I think it's also been like proven that if like you are like bilingual or multilingual then like it's easier and easier Mm -hmm. and easier for you to learn more Mm -hmm. languages so that seems legit to me okay that's what I want to learn I want to continue learning sign language and I would like to learn Spanish as well. Obviously, I can't be fluent in here. That's crazy, but I could be conversational, possibly. I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. it just depends how committed. Yeah, how balls to the wall is that what you're gonna say? No, I, was, <laughs> oh, I thought I saw a B coming out of your mouth, and then I was like, how balls to the wall? <laughs> you're gonna yeah. go with it. We can go with that. That okay. sounds a little more like <laughs> aggressive. Yeah, towards your goal setting. Yeah. What do you want to learn? Uh, okay. I. Oh wait, can I say one more? Uh, I'm okay. so sorry. No, that's it, Alyssa. You can only <laughs> learn so many things in a year. <laughs> this is something that I really believe I could learn in like a week. Not like maybe master it, but I want to learn how to drive standard. <laughs> You've been saying this for so long. I know, dude. I've been putting it off, but this is what I think I need to do. I need to rent a car. Dude, Matt knows how to drive standard. I know, but what am I going to do? Like learn on his shit? Well, like, his is automatic anyway, but I need to rent a car. Yeah. I've, I know lots of people who know how to drive standard, but I just like don't have a car and like you don't really want to use somebody else's car because you can fuck up their clutch. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I wonder if Matt would teach me how to drive standard. Yeah, probably. Well, Will he be the best teacher? Hmm. <laughs> Our friendship has been growing, so I'm wondering if I should just like not. Yeah, I don't know. That could be playing with fire. I just, it's hard to say. Yeah. Maybe that's where his like tender sensitive side really comes out to shine. Or not. Yeah. (laughs) As well. It's like a real possibility. But I think I need to rent a car and then just like rent it for a couple days. I'm over 25, so now my rates are lower. Maybe you can use one of Matt's trucks. I don't want to learn a truck. You want to learn how to drive a B train? Well, oh, oh, I need a class one probably for that. (laughs) Okay, so I'll get my class one and then I can learn how to drive standard. Let's make this an even more difficult path yeah. for you to learn how to drive standard. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know if I can learn how to drive standard. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, th- this is something that like I, it's continued learning, I would say. Um, I want to continue to like learn and practice photography. That's a big one for me. Um, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there will be other things that come up, but that's like, top priority for me currently have you thought any more about the photography studio (sighs) matt and i got an argument last night so i didn't have the chance to bring up that i want to adapt one of our rooms into a photography studio no okay um curious but i mean it's yeah it's on the front of my mind why don't you make that room the photography studio because here's the thing i do feel like i should have like my photography studio be Sorry, this is a sidebar conversation. I do feel like I should have my photography studio be part of like the my actual normal studio just because like then I don't have to haul those big ass fucking lights up and down the stairs Uh, um, to wherever I need it for because I do need my lighting for photos. mm. Yeah. Oh, but then the other room wouldn't work anyway. Hey. Yeah, exactly. He could move his office up in there. He could move his office up, Matt. (laughs) What do you think, man? How do you feel about carpeted uh, floors for an office? (laughs) I think it could be nice. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. <laughs> Where our guest's going to stay doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't care. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, that's my learning uh, goal. 
for 20 for 2020 what do you this is something they asked me um when i worked at that restaurant <laughs> that i'm not saying the name we'll find any the amount of <laughs> rhymes with factus flub <laughs> um they would ask us to set like measurable goals and then say like what do you what are your plans like what are you gonna do to continue i'm just like interested like how not that sounded like it came out like well how are you gonna do that i just mean like how are you what? planning on doing that <laughs> like, motherfucker? like how i said i'd rent a car so what are you renting a studio <laughs> i didn't mean it like that like what's the, what's the pathway <laughs> um, okay uh I think so for me um, I want to try and take photos like as many days out of the week as I can and I find that I usually have time in the evenings where I'm like Matt's like playing video games and I'm just like not really like my work's done so I'm just like okay like I could go do this and it's just like about like committing to actually doing it so I've been um, watching some online courses um, just like about people that are doing photography as a job because like I like to when I was a makeup artist and I could watch other working artists at work Mm -hmm. I learned so much just from being there and like seeing what they were doing like with like the products and whatever and how they were holding a brush and like I didn't even need them to like say this is how you do this but I could just watch and 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 be like oh cool they did that and it made it look like this and so I'm trying to watch like a lot of um, content about photography um, and follow more Instagrams and stuff like that as well so I can get like inspiration and learn through what they're doing um so yeah just trying to take in content and then practicing that's cool yeah I've I, been investing in some lenses I think that it's cool that you say like um when you were watch- watching me- like work oh my god when you were watching working makeup artists uh because that's how I learned too like yeah. I, I think it's uh interesting like the different ways that people learn like some people need to actually do some people need to be like taught and some people can just like learn through like proximity yeah and I think that that's so cool that's how I learned to like bartend it's just like watching like for best practices basically and I found that it really helped well and I think that like if somebody tells you how to do something like okay if I told you how to paint I'd be like put the brush in the paint and put it to paper but like if you watched how somebody like moved a brush and like dipped into the paint to like pick up the right amount and all that kind of stuff you would be more confident in like replicating that mm. um and so i think that's why like visual for me just makes so much more sense rather yeah. than someone just saying it no kidding um because i feel like that's so it's so easy to just say and not to do yeah so yeah um what do you want to try this year this could kind of go either way you could like say try to like mentally something you mm-hmm. want to try doing something skydiving i don't want to skydive i feel like you've been putting off rock climbing I went rock climbing last year. Oh, did you? Yeah, it wasn't that fun. Okay, well, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it wasn't bad, but um, it wasn't as exhilarating as when I was a kid. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, because I have long nails, yeah, it just hurts. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you actually can't really do with long nails. Yeah, and I would get my nails shortened, but as um, many a boyfriend before has told me, I um, they call them grandma hands which has really stuck with me and I just am self-conscious about my hands and so when I have short nails they make me feel self-conscious well that's really fucking rude yeah it is rude okay (laughs) how fucking dare you she's got an eye water going (laughs) it's a mild one but it's there uh what do I want to try um I want to okay I want to try to keep to a schedule I don't know is that a thing yeah okay yeah I'd like to because so many people are like, what do you even do for work? And I'm like, well, right now, probably nothing. <laughs> I've been pretty the fuck in the dog pretty hard lately. <laughs> but um, when you like work for yourself or like not even for yourself, because I do have things that aren't just for me, but like you could kind of like pick it up and do it whenever. It's so hard to stay motivated. And you would think that you're like, I could get so much done because I don't have anybody like holding me accountable. But it's like, I mean, in my experience and from what you told me before, it's like it's not always the case and it's to your detriment to not be held accountable because mm-hmm. we think about how often in a day you hold yourself accountable because no be, because of just your own expectations mm-hmm. fucking rare yeah like it's not a thing that we really do that often yeah and so it's really hard to be like okay well i have to do this and it's like well do i really have to like not really and if you're not particularly feeling editing that day it's like well i'll do it tomorrow and yeah. then you kind of just like start you know, going down a a nasty path. So I'd like to really utilize my day planner and really stick to it and only put in there what I know I can get done, not even like physically with time, but like emotionally, if that makes sense. Because at least with, 
um, like my old job, it was like I went to work, I was cut, that's it. And then I go home when I was a bar manager. But when I was a bartender, it's like that was left at work. Yeah. And here it's like, okay, well, I, I could just like work 14 hours today and then not at all tomorrow. But that's not the realistic no it's not. yeah so I would like to try to stick to a schedule yeah and I agree with that because it's like I do the same thing where I'm like well it's Sunday I don't need this video up till Tuesday so like technically I could edit it on Tuesday like mm-hmm. and so it's just like you put it off and put it off but then something comes up where it's like now you have so much shit to do yeah it's just not fucking and then grind time rap game part five part 28 yeah what I don't even know what number we're on right now what is normal life yeah what is it like to not be (laughs) yeah in the midst yeah um hmm, what do I want to try this year I would say I want to try um to cook more Mm. yeah um I think we've, we've actually been doing a good job so Matt started like cooking recently um and he's like been sticking to it so I feel like I've been sticking to it and I was thinking about it I'm like man like we really we used to order in so much and like sometimes lunch and dinner and we haven't really ordered in we ordered pizza the other day but we haven't like ordered in like lunch and I don't fucking know how long Mm -hmm. so I just want to continue to um cook and like get better at that and uh you know probably pay more attention to um the amount of protein I'm intaking yeah (laughs) um and yeah that's uh, that's what I want to try this year. That's cool. We could take some cooking classes just for fun. Man, cooking classes are so fun. Yeah. That I went to like a vegan cooking class last year and it was a blast. Mm-hmm. Fucking expensive. Yeah, are they? Yeah, man. My grandma went to one and I was so excited for her and um, she doesn't live in Vancouver. So like the amount of classes that are offered are like very limited and um, she didn't get to cook anything. It was like a like sit like, and watch. Like a demo? Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. That is stupid. She was so excited to like learn and like do and then they just like sat there and then ate mm-hmm. it afterwards and I'm like, oh, that's not as fun. I will say the things that we cooked are not like particularly realistic for someone to cook just because like they had prepped so much of it for us. So, you know, like the one thing was like they had already prepared like a vegan homemade butter and like a vegan (laughs) you know like shit like that and it's like okay well obviously that's what's making this like taste so like particularly delicious Mm. but like it took us 10 minutes to make but it took you guys like four hours to prep right um so that was the only thing that like that's my only complaint dirty apron cooking school (laughs) it's my feedback uh what do you want to continue to do in 2020 oh i want to continue to go to the gym okay yeah I've been not so much in the last couple weeks because I was like really really sick man I've been sick forever I know but I'm like I'm feeling a lot better but my cough and my little my little schnoz schnoz is still stuffed but um I was really freaking going at it it. I was in it so I'd like to go to Orange Theory twice a week because that's when the only coach that I like is there (laughs) yeah except for Tuesday mornings but I just I'm not ready to commit to that yet um and I, I don't know, I honestly believe at this point in my life, I could go to the gym every single day. And by that, I don't mean like go hard at the gym. But for me, like even just going and like running on the treadmill for like 15 minutes makes such a difference in like my mental health and how I see my body. Mm. Not that it's probably doing like that much physically, but it really like, I don't know if it's like something in my brain, but if I haven't worked out that day, I look in the mirror and I feel like less about myself yeah. than if I actually like put even 15 minutes into like my like physicality. No, like physique. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the, it's the weirdest thing. Um, and just like go like driving to the gym every day and like just doing that for myself makes me feel so much better. So I really think that I could. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's a little bit steep. So maybe like five days a week, including Orange Theory. All right. Yeah. That sounds legit. Mm -hmm. Except for vacations. Fuck that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. There's been a few (laughs) times where I've like really like in a well-intentioned type of way put like sneakers into my luggage with the intention of going to the gym. And I, it's just like I get there and I'm like, this is like sick Mm -hmm. and wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kudos to the people who do that. But I've done, I did that when I went to, where was I before Kelowna? I was somewhere else. I put, oh, Edmonton. Oh, I did actually go in Edmonton, but I did not go in Kelowna. And I was like, well, this was a waste of space. Yeah. Yeah. It's not for me. Um, okay. I want to continue to um, do yoga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I might actually start going to like the early fucking classes. Yeah. Yeah. It's brutal. It, at our favorite yoga studio? 
fuck other yoga studios dude <laughs> this is like the bane of our existence so we go to this yoga studio that's like honestly like a minimum a 30 minute drive and uh we have to go like super late at night because that's the only time where the traffic isn't like horrifically bad but still it's like a two-hour excursion yeah <laughs> to go to this yoga class and it's it's like the best like all these other yoga places around us are so whack like they're like fitness yoga or like bikram or whatever um it's bad dude and like this yoga studio is just so like magic i love them so much yeah you ruined me i know i should have never brought you there yeah Oh, but it's beautiful, so you should have. I would honest, if they were like down the street, I would go twice a day. Would you? A hundred percent. There are people that I, I didn't know, but like people that I used to go with when I went every single day. And because it, it was down the street from me back in the day. And I did go every day. And I would see people there and, and the instructor would be like, oh, you're back for another class. And I'm like, they, they were already here today. Absolutely. <laughs> see, like, because if I went to, if they were down the street and I went to, I'm just dreaming now. Yeah. If I went to like a 6 a.m. class and then like an 8 p.m. class, oh my God magical that'd be so beautiful that's a very mindful way to start and end your day it would be dude i'd be in a fucking like zen mood all Mm -hmm. day yeah i feel like my productivity would be through the roof or maybe i'd sleep a lot i don't know (laughs) well but you would probably sleep really well because you always sleep really well after we go to yoga yeah man yeah dare to dream i know we need to like call him up and yell well no talk calmly calmly. ask (laughs) them to we actually jokingly said one time we want you to open uh, a yoga studio in like our area and they just like looked at us like deadpan and they were like <laughs> they didn't even laugh they were just like no, no comment <laughs> yeah. they didn't we say like, yeah okay. <laughs> so that's not gonna fly okay sounds good <laughs> tough audience yeah okay. I'm just gonna roll up my sweaty mat i mean maybe we can send them like a really strongly but kind uh worded email and just make our requests clear i wouldn't mind becoming like a multi-millionaire so we could do it ourselves yeah you know what else we could do is just set up like a bunch of sock puppet emails and email them like haphazardly so that it seems legit right. just like people like requesting over and over again for it to come to our area and they'll be like wow there's like been hundreds and then they open and there's like <laughs> just us more like sup <laughs> <laughs> we're so glad you opened <laughs> <laughs> two memberships <laughs> yeah um okay what do you want to quit i knew you were gonna say that and i didn't want to say it because i'm not ready there's a few things that you could quit what are the other ones i think you could have a better body image body feeling about your body oh your singular body actually not your plurals (laughs) uh what do you want to quit um i would like to quit my stupid thrive mint are you going is that a thing this year listen that's why i didn't know if i wanted to say it because i don't really have like the now it's out there the full end well i've already said it on my live and people were starting to hold me accountable so i had to like dial it back but (laughs) okay calm the fuck down guys (laughs) this is a little crazy (laughs) um but i've yeah i've been like on these thrive mints they're like nicotine mints for uh five years almost i probably six years at this point since i lived in saskatoon and you're only supposed to be on them like for a couple months and I'm, sh- I'm certain that they're not good for my body, but I'm like so addicted. Like I can't stop with them. Like I'm like, I love like sucking on them and ha- like, cause they last for like half an hour and I try with other mints and obviously the nicotine's in there, which is addictive anyway, but other mints just like dissolve so quickly. I tried Mentos as per your recommendation. I tried those lifesaver things. Nothing compares. So I don't know, but I like in my heart, I know that I need to quit, but I don't know, man. Seven years? Lucky seven? Lucky number seven years? Oh, so now you just want to keep going because you've like, you've gone this far. (laughs) Let's let's make it a decade. Let's make it a cold decade, you know? (laughs) No, but I I would like if, yeah, if I can make it happen. I mean, I'm seven months sober from alcohol and I never thought that that would happen. Yeah, that's true. So, but I honestly think that this is going to be harder. But it might be because now it's like, (laughs) Because, like, when you quit alcohol, it was, like, you still had a vice there. Yeah. To kind of, like, comfort you at night. Yeah. And now it's, you're going to, what, what is the vice? Well, this is the thing. And and I also actually would like to stop drinking sparkling water, which I know is fucking wild as well. Oh, why? Waste-wise? No, not even waste. Because, I mean, I have been indulging in Perrier a little bit more lately, holiday season. But normally, I'm, <laughs> normally I'm pretty good with just, like, using my soda stream. Um but honestly i I don't think it's good for your body either (laughs) to consume quite that much sparkling water okay what i would say is that i don't think it's good for your body 
to consume exclusively <laughs> sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. I don't think you do which is like it's just so odd to me to picture you being at the gym drinking a carbonated <laughs> beverage and then like jiggling around on a fucking no no treadmill. I don't I don't I, that's the, like one of the only that's times that I draw drink flat water okay. yeah <laughs> well that and like trying to run on the treadmill like, <laughs> that and yoga like, because I did bring sparkling water to yoga once time <laughs> and it was so awkward because I like went to open it and was like <laughs> dead quiet every time <laughs> it was so embarrassing so that and yoga but um I think that what I want to try to do with that is really make it like a special occasion thing and I think that it will really like especially with not drinking alcohol it'll make it even that much more special because right now that I've been like consuming so much Perrier my Perrier is becoming like less special mm. and so I'm like well this isn't really like filling my cup the same way that it was yeah when it was a treat so if I'm only drinking flat water during the day and then like I go to a party and I have a Perrier it's like we time to go wild tonight. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, I think the mints and the Perrier. Wow, that's like a really deadly duo for you to quit at the I same know. time. I know. I think I'll probably quit. Honestly, I think I'll probably quit the Perrier first. <laughs> She's not ready to just clutching those I mints. I really am. Fuck, man. Yeah. Oh, I just love them so much. I'm staring at them right now. But this morning, even instead of drinking uh, soda water, I drank um, half of a glass of flat water. Wow. Yeah. So. You're so brave. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Think about giving up. Remember when you had to give up hot Cheetos? Yeah, but those like just like suddenly the flame died out so suddenly for me with those. Okay, so cola? Yeah, but see, I don't drink cola at home either, really. Okay, what? Yeah. She doesn't understand me. But but when you were talking about like Perrier being special, that's because like I drink Coke at a restaurant. First of all, that's why I try to get so many people to go to a restaurant with me. <laughs> but like it, when I go to a restaurant and I drink like a crisp fucking, oh my God, it's like the tastiest, oh, just everything about it. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, what do you want to, <laughs> is it quit or stop? Quit. Okay. What do you want to quit? Hmm. Okay. I would say I want to quit. Um, like forcing myself in a corner of emotions so when I was younger um there would be times where I would like argue with my boyfriend and it was something that I wasn't actually that upset about but I just like kept amping myself up basically because Mm -hmm. like I didn't want to like almost like I didn't want to get too comfortable and I feel like I've sort of um started like leaning back into that a little bit Mm. like so if I um like and even sometimes with happiness as well if I'm like feeling happy I'm like yeah I'm happy okay I'm feeling happy like I'm just like trying to be like yeah okay I'm convincing myself I'm like feeling good but it's almost like I don't get to like enjoy the moment and then with sadness or like anger or whatever it's like I don't want to like just like let it go Mm. and have people maybe not take it as seriously when I say people I mean Matt exclusively (laughs) um but like I I think that um it's it's like very much obviously to my detriment Mm -hmm. um but yeah I don't know I want to stop doing that I want to quit doing that because I do have an I'm going to stop oh coming up oh good that I said I want to then (laughs) instead of I'm going to (laughs) good that I said the gentler one (laughs) Um, so we know that this is uh, not feeling this is getting less and less uh, committed here uh, um, yeah I feel like I, I not from your standpoint but I know what you mean like I feel like sometimes when I'm in like a moodier mood instead of being like like taking a moment and being like you know what like it's fine like let's just move on I'm like sitting downstairs with like that moody music like just like yeah yeah I know. just doing <laughs> yeah see and like sometimes like when I'm like in an argument with with Matt or something like that the the feeling will fade for me like it'll pass because like I've gone to go do something that relaxes me or makes me feel better which is like I'm actively trying to help myself but then it's like I just like want to get that last point in mm. and I'm not sure why it's just been like a thing I've been doing lately so mm. yeah I'm gonna stop okay no I'm gonna I want I want to you want to you want to quit yeah uh what do you want to be this isn't like too much for me it says I want to be you want to be mint free (laughs) (laughs) I don't I don't want to be mint free I mean this is like what I always say because when I think about like what I want to be it's like well I want to be happy I know I was gonna say the same shit (laughs) yeah but and it's not that I'm not happy now but it's what I always want to be like I do believe that this is truly what I believe is that like my goal in life is to be happy because everything else that you do I feel like anyway 
is in pursuit of happiness yeah so it's like doing things for others which is not like i don't feel like that's a selfish thing but like it does make you feel good Mm -hmm. which in turn like makes you happy being successful well what is that it makes you happy like having money having friends or like animals whatever it is it like always makes you happy um and so i would just like to yeah i want what is it i I want to be yeah i want to be happy and i think that all the other things that i say um, make me happy (laughs) Like all, all this other shit that you just mentioned. Yeah. Okay, well, that was going to be my follow-up question to you. Um, yeah, I'd say the same thing. I want to be happy. And I think that that's like for me, um, I, I almost feel like it's like a lot of people I feel like are attempting to do like external things, like be successful and like, you know, get better at their job. And it's almost like I feel like that's like autopilot for me. Like I've just – and especially because like I've been in this career for quite a while now, it just feels like I just – do my job like I don't have to think about that external thing but I have to be really really conscious about mentally and emotionally being happy Mm. um and so I feel like for me that means like really paying attention to how I'm spending my time and how I'm dividing my time um and doing things that maybe I don't love to do but I know makes me feel better like long term so things like waking up I mean yeah I would probably rather sleep in because like it feels good for my body Mm -hmm. but like I feel better in every way almost when I wake up Mm -hmm. early and so it's when I wake up when I wake up in general (laughs) um there's times in my life (laughs) um but you know like I I think that for me yeah being happy is like a really really like personal mind thing Mm mm-hmm what do you want to have? Huh. Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Uh, uh, I want to have like memorable experiences. I guess. Right. Like when I. <laughs> that, that just in my mind that went so many different places <laughs> in a weird way. I was like when I, and then it reminded me of a Dennis Lloyd song, which reminded me of an inspirational speech that I saw, which is like anyway. Um, <laughs> when I look back at last year what I think about is the memorable experiences and I feel like it's the same with any year and so I'd like to instead of having them like happen happenstance I guess I'd like to make those like memories and it doesn't need to be like something crazy like going to Paris or like LA or whatever it is that I think about but like even things like like playing cranium at at Felix's house Mm -hmm. those are memorable experiences for me because I really like that like um like big I don't know I like yeah yeah I like those kind of things where there's lots of people and you have like chips and drinks and you know like well we had like strawberry I do lemonade. like events with t- chips yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just like like being in a room full of people who are like smiling and laughing and like whatever um so yeah I'd like to have memorable experiences all right what would you like to have oh I'd hate to say I want to do the same but I kind of feel that way um what else do I want to have I mean my first one was money but um (laughs) I was gonna say savings okay um okay I'm gonna say a couple things so I I want to have savings I want to like get better at that because like it's not something I've been particularly great at and then I was like in a situation where like there was no option basically um so I want to have a savings and be good about that um and I want to have um I would say like a really um, intentional work-life balance because I feel like right now I balance in a way that's like one scale to the other side of the scale kind Mm -hmm. of thing like it's like I'm either like all work or all life because I'm trying to balance but Mm -hmm. it's like I'm not like I want to have like every single not every day but like I want to have you know obviously Monday through Friday of course be like I'm doing this and then I'm doing this for fun and then I'm Mm -hmm. doing this for work and then I'm doing this for fun and have it be really intentional so that I'm acknowledging when I am getting that work done and really feeling good about it because I think that that's the biggest thing especially like going back again to working for yourself um you you sometimes have days where you are super productive but you almost don't even acknowledge it because there's no one to pat you on the back for it yeah it's not like you have like a boss or like you know co-workers around being like oh yeah thanks for doing that you know like Mm -hmm. you just basically are like okay on to the next thing yeah um so I think making it more intentional would be helpful for me in that regard Mm -hmm. so that's what I would say awesome yeah like that yeah what uh what are you going to stop I'm gonna stop drinking (laughs) that's no cop out Mm -mm. (laughs) 
Um, I guess I'm, I was already drinking or not. I'm sorry. I guess I was already drinking. I was already not drinking. You know what's funny though? Um, over the holidays, I was in a different city than Sam, and she was asking me how my Christmas Eve went um, because I was with a bunch of friends, and I was like, "Oh, really good." And I was like, um, "We played games, and then my friend's brother got wasted, and Sam read it at first as I got wasted." <laughs> And I was like, huh? I'm like, wow, you're being super nonchalant about this. Like, I thought you'd be really upset. So funny. I'm like, yeah, that's like how exactly how I would like bring it about too. But that made me think, I'm like, how would I even like, if I did, I think I, it would have to be so intentional that I'd be like, okay, I'm going to have a drink. Sam, I'm going to have a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I give, that's funny though that that happened. Anyway, um, I am going to stop. Hmm. You know what the first one I want to say is, but I just don't know if I can like be held accountable for it fully. What? Is um I'm going to stop weighing myself. I don't know if you want me to bring that up on the podcast. You can. Uh, you can't because I have your scale. So, <laughs> <laughs> no. um, so I think that's going to be an easy commitment. <laughs> but that's why I like, well, this is the thing. Do you so, weigh yourself at the gym though? No. And here's what, I, what I'm going to say. So um, I, I think I already brought this up at some point, but I was kind of having problems again with like my disordered eating and stuff. Not in like of like, anyway, doesn't matter. I'm okay. But um, my therapist <laughs> suggested that I... I removed the scale from my residence and then I did not do it for like six weeks and then she was like so maybe if you just gave the scale to Sam I don't know (laughs) (laughs) so I had to surrender (laughs) my scale (laughs) and then I had like texted her a picture of it Uh, anyway so I surrendered my scale but I told her like my therapist I was like the reason that I don't want to get rid of my scale is because if I tell Sam I'm going to do something like give up my scale so that I'm not weighing myself because Annie was like our therapist Annie was like well you could just like do like buy another scale and stuff like that like you could get around this like it's not such a big deal and I'm like but this is the thing is if I tell Sam I'm gonna do something like I can't it would be betraying her trust like like now I can't weigh myself at the gym I can't I would never go out and buy another scale in secret that's so like (laughs) it's like betraying our friendship (laughs) so anyway I haven't been weighing myself at the gym I looked at it the other day when we were at the Yimka and I was like I can't (laughs) <laughs> so no I haven't and Sam actually like was asking me how it was going like with my eating and stuff like that and and she like had asked me like you know about that and I was like well I don't know because I can't weigh yeah. myself <laughs> and she was like all right so anyway I think that it has been good for me because I've been getting better obviously um so I think that maybe I just won't weigh myself anymore like unless I like absolutely have to for the doctor or something but yeah. like I don't know. I think it is a good thing, though, because it kind of takes the emphasis off of, like, a number and onto, like, how you feel. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that that's, I mean, I would imagine that's, like, helpful in the, like, journey towards, like, better, m- like, mental feelings about your body. Yeah, well, and not to, like, sorry, like, to drag this on, but when I was talking to Annie, um, she was asking me, like, why I want, because I, I did, I used to get up and weigh myself every single morning, and she's like, okay, but, like, what does that look like for you? Like, what what's the reaction and I'm like thinking about it and I'm like hmm that's telling me like how happy I'm gonna be that day yeah so it's like now instead of like getting up and being like oh I'm happy because I lost like 0.2 of a pound or like oh it's gonna be a shitty day because I gained 0.2 of a pound it's like well now I just get up and I have the day that I was always going to have yeah (laughs) without that like external yeah thing so anyway yeah I think that that's what I'm gonna do uh what are you going to stop doing oh god how am I going to stop doing it um I would say this is something that I'm going to continue to stop doing because I have already started. So this is kind of a cheat, but it is really easy for me to fall back into. And that is um, reading comments about myself on places other than my own platform. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stop. It's never brought good for me. No. So it's done. Yeah. You heard it here first. Reddit. Yeah. So if you could all stop posting so that I know I'm not missing out. (laughs) I can promise you you're not missing out. Oh, I know I'm not. I mean, I don't read them about you either, but it's just uh, the only people that matter are the people that love you Yeah, and that fucking know you. Yeah. Well, and I think that's the thing is like um, I've mentioned this before on the podcast, but it's like I've never I've never gone and read something about myself and left felt feeling better. Mm -hmm. I've always regretted it like I've always been like I didn't need to do that because Mm -hmm. like 
it's it's just yeah I mean that's a thing and like it's like you can't please everyone but like if you are constantly pursuing um commentary about yourself you are trying to to please everyone like yeah. because you just can't you can't get it out of your mind like you're not going to stop thinking about that so yeah, yeah that's uh that's that's gonna be a stopped habit for me oh good yeah that makes me happy because I want you to be happy I want you to be happy as well thanks as per our goals yeah <laughs> Yeah. Is that it? That's the that's all she wrote. That's it. Yeah. Aw. Oh, let's do like one of our own because I just thought of it. Okay. What's something that you would like to do together in 2020? Of course, that was your question. <laughs> um, okay. Something I'd like to do together. Hmm. I would like to... Hmm. You know what I was kind of thinking? Like, because like I feel like I'm at like peak suburban housewife mode Mm. I'd kind of like to have like nights like specific like okay like Tuesday is like movie night and like Thursday is like family board game night because again intentional work-life balance I love that okay wow (laughs) (laughs) this is like the third or fourth eye water (laughs) but I thought that would be nice because it's like you know that that's like something that you're like looking forward to you set it aside it's like time spent you know this is like wow I'm really crying (laughs) This is like the family that I always wanted growing up, like the white picket fence where we like pick a movie together and then like dad's like joking with like the popcorn and he's like, oh, we have to watch the Terminator. And we're like, no, we want to watch Love Actually. This is highly specific. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want me to paint the fence white? (laughs) You could. Okay. Well, it was a real pain in the ass to stain, so I don't think I'm going to. It was also a pain in the ass to paint this shit, so I think that we should hire somebody if that is the case. Yeah, I've determined (laughs) that I do not enjoy painting. Like, when I think about it, I'm like, I like painting on a canvas. Yeah. (laughs) What the fuck? I've never... My body... I'll never come back from that. That aged me, like, five years. Yeah. Well, I was even thinking downstairs, the spare bedroom, I was like, oh, we could paint this because it's, like, it has patches, and I was, like... Ugh, and then I remembered what it was like painting this son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I was like, no, well, you. And the other thing too is that like it just painting a house, a, a room, the plural rooms, um, it really is not in line with my like let's get it done now attitude. Oh, true. Because you have to like let paint dry. <laughs> Fuck that noise like that is like my nightmare like having to just be like no you have to stop doing this and walk away from it for like a full day yeah and then you can come back like, oh that's it's just like that's so interesting I do remember you being like well we could probably just paint it now and I'm like no that's not that, what works. if we try <laughs> I'm like we have to let it try yeah that's the worst oh well I would love that okay. I think that, that would be really fun all right got too emotional but it's fine what do you want to do I mean we can set that up today Oh, that'd be fun. Okay. Okay. I'll have to get Matt on board. Um, you know what? He's really been pulling out the board game nights lately. He is like, he's also peak suburban yeah. husband. Really settled in. Yeah. Um, I would like, I think that this would be fun. I literally just thought about it, but I really want to do it. I think that it would be cool to learn Spanish <laughs> together. <laughs> no. Um, but I feel like I would love to do that. So you hit me up if you're ever ready. Yeah. But uh, you're like, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that it would be fun if we wrote out all of the like mountains or like hikes that that we could go on like in Vancouver surrounding areas or even if we were to travel and like there's somewhere that we really want to hike write those down and then throughout the year like tick them off or something like that and even because I do <clears throat> love scrapbooking I think that what could be fun. I've been waiting for you to like take up scrapbooking again like I every time I like see some scrapbook shit I'm like that'd be pretty fucking dope if you like just started scrapbooking the fuck out of our lives well and when I went home I scrapbooked cards for my family because we didn't a lot of us didn't want to do presents and I was like oh, this really is a little little part of my life that I've been missing brushing the dust off yeah. and just really getting back into it so I think it could be fun if throughout the year we took like special photos at each like hike or whatever and then I scrapbooked a full scrapbook of all of our hikes because well and hear me out because it's just a little bit it's like the like tiniest little well (laughs) I'm trying to keep it together (laughs) it is like quality time um because it's in line with you wanting to like do stuff active physical yeah and you love nature I do I really like hiking and a lot some of them not a lot of them unfortunately but some of them we could like bring the doges and stuff like that yeah and I think that could be really cool it's really unfortunate how many places around Vancouver don't allow dogs. Yeah, because honestly, hiking with the dogs is, like, more fun. 100%. Yeah. It's, like, and it's almost worse when their dogs are allowed but only on leash because, like, 
hiking with kuma she just drags you up the mountain like it is yeah. a nightmare like that dog is such a freaking workhorse it's insane i can't believe it yeah like she's crazy not crazy but like just her agility and like her yeah <laughs> she's jacked yeah she could fuck shit up if she yeah. so desired yeah i don't think she would ever tire i think she would run herself to death if you let her a hundred percent dude there's these things called slat mills and it's like a treadmill but like it's powered by the dog so the faster that they run the faster that the slat mill goes and like if they want to stop it just stops um but a lot of people will get them if they have like high energy dogs because like walks do virtually nothing for mm-hmm. those types of dogs and kuma's like six fucking high energy dog breeds and i was like it'd be so sick to get her a slap mill she'd fucking sit on that shit for hours i know but you'd have to be careful because she could like actually i'd have to take her off yeah, yeah. you'd have to like time it yeah. okay you get half an hour on the slap mill <laughs> only half an hour kuma <laughs> <laughs> yeah she'd go fucking wild yeah that would be fun though yeah maybe that's a is something. it big it's not massive it's just ugly as sin so mm-hmm. like i would just put it in the fucking garage or something oh yeah or I could put it outside and put like a little squirrel in front of it. Oh. So it looked like she's chasing the squirrel. Cute. Yeah. Anyways. That's it. Uh, <laughs> everyone's like, great. Thanks. Glad, yeah. to, glad to be uh, privy to that conversation. <laughs> um, will Sam get a slap mill? Uh, tune in next time to find out. <laughs> um, this is riveting content. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was fun. The slap mill? Oh, well, maybe not that, but the rest oh, of Oh, I'm referring episode. to only the slap mill. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm pretty interested with that. I think that's cool. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much. What do you want to do for your dogs in 2020? Yeah. Let us know. Um, okay, well, I think those are all good things and they're achievable. And perhaps we should reference back to this midway through the year. That's a good idea. Ah. Ah. And see where you're at with the mints. And honestly, in the Spanish and um, <laughs> holding what yourself you accountable. Mean? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, photography was the other thing for me learning, mm-hmm. but I mean, we yeah, have, we'll go back through and listen. Yeah. Yeah. But cool. If you guys want to uh, join in, we'll leave in the description box if we remember t- uh, all the things that we talked about and you yeah. guys can tell us what your 2020 goals are and that's it. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.